I ordered it from this website, which is really good looking, but not that fantastical, informative at the end of the day. Martington.shop will show me my backpack, but only from one angle. Here's the one I ordered, the one in khaki. I would have liked to have it in the coyote brown color, but that is not available. You can find a lot of specifics information here. Probably you can't read it here, but no phone number to call if I need to. This is it. It just arrived. I presume two weeks is not too long a delay. So now I take my first look. Two weeks given the current situation with the disease that everybody talks about. This is what it looks like. I ordered it in khaki. And this looks more like coyote brown, but that suits me just fine. So I will not complain about it. We also, the, it had a good feeling about it. Yes, a good solid feeling. And I click this. Let's try the, the strap here, the chest strap. A little bit ill at ease. Okay. Okay. And let's have a look at these straps up here because they have a somewhat dubious reputation with exactly this backpack. They seem quite well made here. Double and here also shoulder straps double stitched. I hope they will last because that is fatal if they do not. Molly also very well stitched here. You open it up, and you look inside. It all seems like quite sturdy and solid. Backpack. Inside there's a compartment for the, yeah, I, I don't know if you can see this. There's a compartment for the water bladder. It's a 60 liters backpack. And there's some instructions here. There is no inside pocket, no safety pocket here. There is a pocket here, and again, the zipper seems to be quite okay. And your rain cover in a discreet color, not a signaling yellow or anything. There is no 
strap. There's some sort of attachment here. And I don't know exactly as of now how to use that. I mean this one. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, okay. I see. Here. This one. It goes in here somehow. I'll get to that later. Okay. The whole thing seems solid and sturdy and there's a pocket here on the back side of the back. Okay. No organizer system or anything here. Just a pocket. And at the outside I wonder this Molly system, how functional is it? If I attach too much here, won't it split the pocket apart from the bag? I do see to that. I have to put it in the real life. Here is the side pocket. It's quite spacey. And here is the stretch pocket here. Or water. There's no side pockets on the uh, hip belt, but I presume you can add something here via the Mali system. Okay, it looks good. I don't think you can ask for much more with a backpack this inexpensive. These buck hooks are strong but not fantastical strong. Let's have listen. Okay, that sounded good. That sounded solid. And they also feel solid. Yes. Immediately I'm quite happy with my my marting top. 60 liters. And it, this product has number M6226. And that's important because they keep changing the features of their backpacks. The 60 liters backpack is not the same as it was last year. Well, okay, I'll try this out, walking, and, yeah, I'll just keep you informed. Okay. And, oh, there's no height adjustment system to this backpack. So we'll see how that works out in real life. As for compression straps, we find some here, but nothing under the backpack. 
So you can attach a roll a tent or something here at the lower part on the back side. There are compression straps here and here and likewise to the other side. And I get still more happy with the stitches. I looked inside and this fatal flaw that Martin tops traditionally have that the shoulder straps have a tendency to do depart after some use proved to be something that they have taken seriously themselves. We go inside and we look inside of the pack. Oh. Okay. One hand is not enough. Never mind. Um, the stitching actually is here on the inside and maybe you can see it is very quite well made in other words Martin Top have taken the criticism seriously and bettered their ways I was actually planning to take this back to Taylor Eric, a guy that I know, who lives nearby and who repairs bags, just for some before the event reinforcement, but I don't have to. Good. It looks good. It feels good. As I said, there's no height adjustment system. You will have to do that. Uh, in the hope that this will fit you. But yes, we'll try this outside soon. And now I found out a flaw with this particular item. I've opened the sleeping bag compartment and looking for the divider. And the, the divider is there and it's not as usual, it is a zipper fastened. And the zipper in this particular thing cannot really be used because there's an Something wrong here. One hand is not good enough. I can't get it any further than this because yeah, okay. I can't get any further than this because, whoa, that's not good Martin top. I don't think I will complain about it. I will take it to a tailor, Taylor Eric, and see if he can do something about this because this zipper doesn't work any further than here. Not so fantastic or good. Okay. And then right after having tried it, I find that there's a similar hole in the other side. And now I just succeeded in using the zipper. So it makes me wonder, is it supposed to be a hole here. 
Maybe it isn't a flaw, but it isn't an oddity that I don't quite understand. And it doesn't make it easier to close the zipper. I will have to get used to that. So this is what it looks like in real life. I have had to take refuge at a place where the wind does not disturb. And this is the Martin Top 60 liters backpack when packed. It has a fairly good feel. Still not that friendly hug feel uh, that a maybe more expensive backpack will have. But maybe I will succeed in becoming friends with this one. Okay. And here it is again, a bit further down the road. I hope you can hear me in spite of the wind. And I must say, it feels better the more I get to know it. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Okay.